In this update, you might be stunned to see that something new is coming to MLBB. New rank Mythic Immortal is coming and this is going to be huge. Plus we have new backgrounds, season 29 updates, new characters will be here and much more. For that, you will have to watch the video till the end to find out. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, we will discuss about the changes made in patch note 1.7.84 and check out all of the new updates and sneak peeks of various upcoming excitements. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. First, we have the changes in physical and magic lifestyle. The designer said the physical and magic lifestyle was a bit confusing since the magic lifestyle can trigger from both magic skill and basic attacks while physical lifestyle only triggers from physical basic attacks. It is removed and they added new attributes in the items called hybrid lifestyle which has both lifestyle and spell vamp. Spell vamp remains the same where you will lifesteal from damaging with physical or magic skill but not from magic basic attacks. And now lifesteal can be triggered by both physical and magic basic attacks. Because of this, they are also adjusting some hero skills, equipments and emblems. We will look more into this later in this video. Moving on to hero adjustment. Ikshay is getting buffed. Her passive Starlium Siphon cannot deal crit strike. And when it hits a known enemy hero unit, the HP restored is based on her lifesteal. They also added a new effect in her skill 2 where it will knock back enemies in front of her when they skill cast. Well is getting buffed. The ability of enhances his skills when he reaches level 4, 6 and 8 has been removed. His skill 1 will now have a new effect as the range increase from the old passive and the cooldown is also greatly reduced in the late game. His skill 2 will now have the effect of both the old type of skill where it will knock up the enemies that got hit by 1 second and the windstorm will stay in its destination for 2 seconds. You can no longer move. Don't even try. His ultimate will now continuously pull enemies to its center. The explosion damage has been greatly increased while the slow effect is reduced by 20% and the ability to remove enemies 15 magic defense has been removed. If you are looking for 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki official store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100 KMLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between various packs. Goat is getting buffed. His skill to lifesteal gain from all sources is increased by 50%. Valir is getting buffed. His passive damage per second has been increased by 0.6% of the target's maximum HP. His skill 1 and 2 lifesteal gained from all sources are increased by 20% and 10% respectively. His skill 1 also has a new effect where it will grant a stake of the fireball when hitting the lord or the turtle. Chang is getting buffed. Her skill 1 projectile has been slightly increased. The projectile speed of her enhanced basic attacks when using skill 2 has slightly increased. And they also added a new effect where dealing magic damage will reduce its cooldown. Ruby is getting buffed. They have removed her passive where the skill inherits 115% of her physical lifesteal effects. And added a new one where all her skills will have 120% spell vamp. Alucard is getting adjusted. His passive is nerfed by removing the effect where his skills inherit 50% of physical lifesteal effects. 
while his ultimate will now grant 28% to 40% hybrid lifesteal. Silvana is getting adjusted. Her skill lifesteal gained from all sources are increased. Basic attack by 20%, skill 1 and 2 by 50%, while ultimate by 70%. And the extra life steal when she cast her ultimate is reduced by 40% in the early levels and by 60% in the late game. Beatrix is getting adjusted. Her ultimate is adjusted. The effect where she grants 25% life steal when she uses her ultimate has been removed. And now she will gain 50% of the life steal attributes from items. Mia is getting adjusted. They have removed the scattering arrow and slow effect on her skill too. While the middle area damage and the extra damage from the total physical attack have been greatly reduced. The AoE and cast time has also increased while the skill animation is adjusted. Eudora is getting buffed. The force swing time and back swing time of all her skills have been reduced. Badang is getting nerfed. The special stun duration is reduced by 0.3 seconds. All the adjustments made to ban data and e detail have been reverted and now they are the same as the official server. Moving to the battlefield adjustments. Calamity Reaper will be renamed to Starlium Scythe and the attributes has been buffed. The 100 maximum mana attribute has been removed and it will now have 8% hybrid lifesteal. Mystic container has been added to its build path but the cost has been increased by 270 gold. The item passive will have 100 base damage and will get additional 100% damage from magic power. And the item shadow twin blades has been removed. Concentrated energy is being adjusted. The passive will now have 20% spell vamp and it will have a revamped effect too. Dealing magic damage will increase the magic power by 5 and this can be increased up to 6 stakes. At full stakes, magic damage is increased by 12% for 3 seconds. Feather of Heaven is buffed. It will now have 10% lifesteal. And this battle is buffed. The lifesteal is lowered by 2% but you will now be able to use 8% of hybrid lifesteal from this item. Mystic Container is nerfed. This item will have 8% spell vamp. After that, in the new emblem, Season Hunter is nerfed and the damage increase is reduced by 5%. Festival of Blood is buffed and you will now get 6% lifesteal. As the lifesteal effect has been changed, the custom marksman emblem has been changed to lifesteal with some values. On the other changes, we will now be able to see duration the buff more accurately for Purify spell. To optimize the pro setups, professional players were invited to recommend a setup for each hero. Moving to the survey part. Lilia's special skin surveys are the first item on our list. Design 1 is known as the Dream Eater Witch. With such high detailings like the moon in her clothing, this design is extremely fantastic. Design 2 goes by the name Force Crusher. This one has Gloom looking extremely excellent. Design 3's name is the Spirit Messenger. Those message icons and the post language gives off the impression that she is about to deliver something. The last one is Voodoo Sorceress. She appears extremely young in this one despite the fact that it's quite good. Secondly, we have Teresla Epic Skin Surveys. Angel Force is the theme number one. If you look closely, you may see that his hammer has the appearance that he is trapping souls in it. Winter King is the theme number 2. This is attractive but I would rather purchase theme 1. Lastly, we have Ramesh Mythic Skin Designs. Those who have reached Mythic ranks, they can vote for them through Mythic Vote section. Design 3 is currently in the lead among them all. Are you guys already in Mythic? If yes, don't forget to comment which design are you voting for. Also, the name of Kagura's epic skin has changed and it is now Dragon Maiden. Let me move to some upcoming sneak peeks. We will be able to see some new anime skins of Edith, Kagura and Xavier. 
This will be insane because new skins will be inspired from Studio Ghibli, well known for anime like Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle. New rank Mythic Immortal will be available soon for players with 100 plus Mythic Stars. Next will be the Season 29 background. Next will be some assets related to the Eurodicio season event. And take a look at these different amazing BGs that are soon going to be added. I think some of them will probably end up as a lobby BG too. New characters are also featured in this update. First will be Ixia. The smaller kid might be her when she was a kid. After that, it looks like Kimi's father is standing next to Kimi. I can't tell you for sure, but it kinda looked like it. After that, we have Lolita and Diggy that we all know. And here is our new Pretty Layla with a mini version. Next character is Pretty Sus. Is this Dr. Rooney? And who is he standing next to? Can anyone guess who the other character might be? After that, we also have these amazing characters that were introduced to us in this update. Well, I am at least 50% sure that they will be the new heroes as their head icons can also be seen in the asset section. You will also be able to see new border for Lunox's upcoming legend skin. And with that here are 5 shoutouts from our previous video. Isaac, TSG, Amoya, Venom Jr and Kurokawa. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.